Hi everybody, this is going to be a quick how to on offset. I know a lot of people have been asking me how I've been doing it, so I'm quickly going to show you a really quick video, super easy once you get to play around with it. So in a new screen in your design space, go to text, add the text you want to put in. I'm just gonna go hello. I see it's already on the font that I love using. This is my favorite font for um, the offset. It's called Vintage Curveball. There are quite a few other kind of cursive ones that you can play around with. It's up to you um, to see which one uh, suits you best. I just know when the cloud arrives, it's it, it flows nicely around it. Okay, great. So you've got your word and um, you know it's at the right uh, height and length. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't really matter if you do it now. I think leave the height and length until the cloud is around it. So, you go to offset. I don't mess around with the bar. The 0 0.635 is perfect for me. I feel you apply it. Oh, and you've got the curved ones and you've got this ones. I, I really don't feel feel this one. It's just too square. I like the curves. We all like a nice curve, right? Okay, so you apply it. Um, if you have a look, you'll see it's just the right amount of cloud. Um, I call it a cloud next to the word. Now, if it needs to be bigger, don't go and drag this because you're only going to make the cloud bigger. In order to make the entire word bigger, you need to still select it all. And then usually my words are between 12 and 15 centimeters long for the bags and the pencil cases that I've been doing. Okay, do not attach this. Do not weld it. Do not flatten it. Don't do anything with it. You need them separate. So when you get it, it's automatically separate. That's why I say make sure you select everything when you get to your right size. And don't get to the correct size before you have the cloud around it because you'll see it's now already smaller with the cloud it needs to be 12 if you make this one 12 then obviously it's going to be longer okay now you change it to the color you want i'm going to make this my nice sparkle sparkles and i want this to be white okay or you can do your nice pink now remember this doesn't it's not going to come out this color. It's not going to print it, that color. It's just so that you know um, when it goes to making it, what color vinyl you should be putting on. Okay, so you're happy with this. Remember, if you want to copy it, if you want more of them, to select both, um, to align them, put them in there, make sure it's center there and center vertically now it's perfect again you can either go duplicate if it would just give it some time there you go slow computer or once everything is selected you go Control c and Control v i like the keyboard shortcuts give it a moment there you go okay now, if you want three different ones, three different colors, let's make that one pink. Uh, let's make that one the same gray as that one. Let's make this one a nice blue and that a nice purple. Okay, three different ones. Now you go to make it. And remember, it doesn't matter where you fit them. Um, design space automatically fit them on your sheets. Nothing froze, I'm still here. It's just waiting for the computer. Sing a little song. Great stuff, there we go. Okay, now if you are doing HTV, you need to make sure that you mirror all of the carpets. Okay, mirrored. Mirror is one of those words that if you say it too often, it kind of loses its meaning. Okay, continue. Okay, it's already set onto iron on. Everything has been mirrored. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, you'll see this one was gray, so it's got the two on the one sheets. All right, and there you go. Now the next step, when the vinyl comes out, I'll show you in another tutorial how to iron it on. Um, which one goes first? Obviously, you put the cloud down first, you iron that on, you leave it until it's cool. I wait about five minutes before I put the word on top of it and iron it again. Okay, I hope this um, was useful and that you learned something and that everyone can do some nice